what's good, y'all? What's going on? It's Corner Sports Net. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Now, Auburn football, I know you heard about what's going on with the coach and the scandals, players transferring. Now, I know his wife wished she was back in Boise, Idaho, where she had a life. Everything wasn't scrutinized. Everything wasn't drama. Auburn coach. Brian Harson, when he was at Boise State, he didn't have this kind of drama. It was peaceful, quiet. He was able to operate, do his thing. Now, at Boise State, he had five, ten win seasons in seven years. You didn't hear about no scandals. You didn't hear about no players talking about how the coach don't understand them. It's pretty much peaceful. Everybody got along. But Boise, Idaho is way different than Auburn, Alabama. Now, at the University of Auburn and in Auburn, Alabama, they care about two things. Football first, church second. Oh, and the family third. Now, his first season coaching... At Auburn, He's, he got off to a 6-2 and two start. Then he lost his last five games, and he had leads in three of those games. So, of course, he didn't like how the season ended. But once the season ended, it's like players started transferring. I'm talking about 20 players have transferred since the end of the season. Then you got coaches going out of schools. Then you got players talking about he don't know how to treat people that come from nothing. He's a good coach and he's about winning, but he don't know how to he don't know how to bring kids along that come from nothing. He don't know how to relate to them. Now, let's rewind. He started out six and two. Nobody had no problems with him. They loved him. You start losing games, and then you start hearing players complaining, and then you got coaches leaving, coordinators leaving. Then legacy quarterback Bo Nix, he transferred from Auburn to Oregon. Then you throw in alleged affair. Then you have a chaotic and a toxic situation. Now, and the rumors of him having an affair with his assistant, I don't know, Chelsea Crochet, those are just rumors. We don't know how true they are. Now, Harrison, he's, he signed a six-year contract. He's in the first year of his contract. Well, going into a second year of a six-year contract, averaging like $5 million a year. But Auburn don't care about that. They could fire him for calls. And then more than likely, Brian Harrison would sue, and then they would go to court, and then after Auburn would probably end up paying a couple dollars in a settlement. But he's going into a second season, and he might not even see a second season because of all the chaos and the toxic environment that Brian Harrison created. Now, Brian Harrison's like, look, I'm not going nowhere. I'm operating every day, entering my second season. I'm preparing for a successful second season. Harson also bristled at any suggestion that he mistreated coaches or players and pointed out there that there were different reasons for coaches and players for leaving the program. He may listed everything from a coach landing another job or leaving for personal reasons to a coach simply not living up to expectations. To a player leaving because he was a distraction to the team or he was just wooed by another school. Any attack on my character is, is BS, Harrison said. None of that is who I am. Now, Brian Harrison is saying everything like a coach is supposed to say. He's denying everything. He's playing politician. If he won 10 games, nobody would care about none of this stuff. None of this soap opera stuff. But he didn't win 10 games. So everything's magnified. It didn't help that he didn't land... Not one player on National Signing Day. That didn't help him. It didn't help him at all. 
So let's see where this plays out. He might get a second year. He might not. So let's wait and see how this thing plays out. Talk to you guys later. It's Corner Sports Net.